Welcome to the Bioprocess Technoeconomic Analysis, TEA, calculator. This calculator can be used to estimate the cost of a generic large-scale bioprocess, which relies on a microbial conversion of sugars to a target chemical. The microbe is used in a newly constructed bioprocess facility. This calculator estimates the costs associated with construction of the facility or capital costs, as well as the operating costs needed to produce the chemical, enabling estimates of financial returns. At the heart of the TEA calculator is a generalized model of the bioprocess. The bioprocess facility is built upon aerobic fermentation and aerobic bioreactors, in which microbes convert sugars to the target chemical in the presence of oxygen. The model assumes a bacterial fermentation. Following fermentation, the fermentation broth containing the target chemical is separated from the bacterial cells utilizing a disc stacked centrifuge, after which the cell free broth or clarified broth is sent to a downstream purification process. Currently, the downstream purification process, or DSP, is treated as a black box producing a purified chemical product from the clarified broth input. Effectively, the bioprocess facility can be thought of as being modeled as two facilities or processes. The first, a more detailed model of a fermentation facility producing clarified broth, and a second, more crudely modeled black box purification facility. This calculator can be used to understand the impact of key fermentation performance metrics on the commercial potential of a new large-scale bioprocess producing a target chemical. The first user input is of course the target chemical. Next, the user can set key fermentation inputs, including the primary fermentation performance metrics, rate, titer, and yield, details on how the fermentation is operated, such as temperature and the tank turnaround time, as well as media and sugar costs. This fermentation is part of the larger model bioprocess facility, and the user can also set additional process inputs for the plant, including annual production capacity, the costs of additional raw materials and utilities, as well as estimates for the downstream purification process, including the overall DSP yield, and the percent of the total capital costs and operating costs attributable to the purification. Additionally, the user can set key financial inputs for the plant, including, importantly, the chemical selling price and the target margin the tax rate, details on how the plant is financed, as well as an appropriate discount rate and payback period for the project. With all of these inputs, the calculator estimates key financial outputs for the plant, including the minimum selling price needed to achieve the target margin, a detailed discounted cash flow analysis, detailed capital estimates, as well as the projected net present value and internal rate of return, or IRR, for the project. While the calculator is a useful tool, there are some limitations. Firstly, the current version of the calculator is only appropriate for sugar feedstocks, and results should not be extrapolated to other feedstocks such as alcohols, natural gas, or syngas, or other feedstocks such as glycerol. The calculator can be used for a wide variety of chemicals containing carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, and nitrogen atoms, but currently cannot be used for chemicals containing sulfur or phosphorus or additional heteroatoms. Additionally, the calculator is currently limited to bioprocesses as described by the model aerobic microbial fermentations, and newly constructed brownfield facilities with additional constraints of the bioprocess as described, for example, the use of centrifugation for cell separations. The plant as modeled is appropriate for food grade products, but not pharma grade chemicals, which require more expensive equipment and quality control. And as the calculator assumes the construction of a new facility, it should be used for larger production volumes in excess of 10 kilotons per year. We hope you enjoy using the calculator and find it useful. Please check out our additional tutorial videos and look out for future improvements. Thanks for watching.